Okay, folks, this is Dr. Seven hack number one. <clears throat> this will be the first of a series of uh, videos showing effective, clever ways to fix or to solve some gear problems. So in this case, we're going to look at the zoom multi-stomp effect and how to change the effects on the fly using this um, device that I built. So basically, if you can see, there are some metal profiles attached to it and enables you to change the effects on a chain, turn them on and off any way you want. In a, the term it's set of effects. So <clears throat> there's no electronic modification whatsoever. So, like I said, just some IKEA profiles cut and fixed to the pedal with those uh, 3M heavy duty double sided tape, the one that has kind of a cushion, because that enables some uh, movement. And the thing is that the angle here is barely touching the, um, the bottom on the pedal and it's just, like I said, gluing here. Now the issue is that if you don't have this thing, your foot will uh, be pressing the switch and probably this at the same time. That's why you need to lift somehow this so that you step on it, but then if you have to press it, you have to put it on the side so they are done clashing one with the other. Now, these things here, they don't fit. The original switch is, is a bit too thick or too wide in the diameter, so the only thing I did was to glue these um, plastic covers that you can find in any outdoor furniture to cover some bolts, and I just glue it with uh, Gorilla Glue. And I've been using this pedal for more than a year and never failed always works perfectly fine so there you go